Welcome to Football Analysis. RB Leipzig and Manchester City faced off in the first leg of round 16 in what turned out to be a very interesting tactical battle. It was a tale of two halves, with the first one going to City and the second one to a much improved Leipzig. A 1-1 draw will see a tense second leg in three weeks. City built up in their starting shape of 3-2-4-1 and as Leipzig sat back in the mid-block in their starting shape of 4-2-3-1, it meant that the City defenders could advance the ball easily to Leipzig's mid-block. Leipzig's front line would then spring into a 4, forming a 2-4-4. This would be the trigger for Bernardo Silva to drop into the back line to collect the ball. As the Leipzig press was quite narrow, there was space for Akanji, now in the right-back slot, to receive a pass. Silva would then move into midfield, where City have a 4 versus 3, and Akanji can find Walker or Silva. City's formation allowed them to create overloads on one side of the pitch, and force Leipzig's midfielders to come out of position. Ake can take up a position on the left, and Gundogan takes up a wide left position. This pushes Grealish into a more advanced position. This sees City have a 3 versus 2, so one of the Leipzig pivots has to move over to cover the extra man. And now there is space for Rodri or Silva to advance. Grealish sees the space infield and runs in to win a free kick in a dangerous position. Leipzig built up from a 2-4-3-1 shape. That quickly became a 2-4-4 shape. When the team was higher up the pitch, City at times pressed with two attackers on the centre-backs, but would often leave one of the Leipzig midfielders free as they press with three in the second block. This could see a centre-back, or even the keeper, bypass the press with a pass into the midfield. Here you can see City are not organised in their pressing, and have left a midfielder free to receive a pass from the keeper. This worked out for City though, as a misplaced pass sees Mares get the ball and make it 1-0. As Walker was pressing the fullback, if Leipzig could get the ball forward quickly, Leipzig's 2-4-4 shape meant that Akanji was often covering the right-back slot and this meant that Bernardo Silva or Rodri would need to drop into the back line to make up a back four. Obviously, it's not ideal to have Silva defending crosses. The Leipzig coach, Marco Rose, instructed his players to be much more aggressive in the second half and Leipzig had more possession. He changed Klosterman for Henriks at right-back and this had a positive effect. His average position was much higher than Klosterman's. The goalkeeper took a key role in Leipzig's more aggressive formations. When Leipzig had possession in the first phase, his position allowed two centre-backs to take up wider positions and this pushed the full-backs into more advanced positions down the flanks. Leipzig's 2-2-4-2 at times meant that City had to play with a back four and two pivots. At times, Leipzig had a front line of six, and with City's makeshift back four, there was often space afforded to the right back Henriks, and this would see a good chance fall to him minutes later. Leipzig could make space for a cross with their 2 3 5 shape against City's 4 4 2 block, as there was space to be found on the wings, with Henriks again. Clever movement from Zbosiai off the front to get between the lines and create a passing angle for a pass out to Henriks, where he whips in a dangerous cross. Instead of slotting back into a fullback position, Henriks took up a kind of inverted fullback position, protecting the centre backs and providing a passing angle for the midfield. And this allowed Leipzig to keep five players in the front line against City's four. When an attacker drops back into a midfield position, he then reverted into the right back slot as Leipzig flittered between a 2-3-5 and a 2-4-4. Although it can leave the midfield a little lightweight at times, and it's not without risk, it's very clever how Bernardo Silva and Rodri create space for a pass out of defence. When one of them drops into the defence, they provide cover for a transition and a passing option. They then move between the lines to form a double pivot, and this provides a passing triangle and a route into the second phase, where the ball can go into the wide areas. Erling Haaland was again unable to get into the game with very few touches and no chances. This is sometimes when he's at his most dangerous, but City should be looking to play to his strengths at times. Marco Rose's half-time changes really changed the tie that looked like it was going to be a formality for City at one stage. <laughs>